Hello, 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 Bruno da Gama here, Brazilian Health Nuts. I hope that you are having a great, great day. I actually just came back from a long walk with my girl. We went outside for about one hour. We did some earthing. That's when you, I don't know if you know what earthing means, but that's when you put your like your feet on the ground, like real stuff like grass or like uh, sand or concrete, anything like that, that's going to be ground you. But Anyway, I don't even want to get into this conversation. I actually am going to be recording an episode just about the benefits, the power of earthing, grounding. But then I came back and we were super hungry. We, you know, after spending one hour walking in the sun and spending a lot of energy, you naturally get hungry. Now, we had an amazing breakfast and I was like, you know what? Let me do an episode about this question that I get all the time which is, Bruno, what should I have for breakfast? Okay, so what you should be having for breakfast as a busy dad, as a man, most importantly. It is a little bit different um, to what I recommend for a woman. So you are a dad, you are here inside of the dad's on fire. So I'm going to be talking to you specifically. Now, the first thing for you, for you to understand that I think it is important to mention is Number one, uh, breakfast is actually not the most important meal of the day. As a lot of people believe, you know, they have to have breakfast. They just focus on the breakfast and forget about this simple truth, this simple fact that the reality is that all meals, they all matter the same. There is not such a thing as, oh, breakfast, it is the most important one and lunch is less important. No, they all matter equal. They all are sending information to your body to tell you what to do. That's it. Food is information. Every time you put food inside of your mouth, inside of your body, is giving information to your body in terms of what to do. That's the first thing to keep in mind. Now, the second thing when talking about breakfast that I believe it is super important to talk about this as well, is actually what you should be avoiding, what you should be not having for breakfast. Because once you know what not to have, what to do, what to do have for your breakfast is going to become much, much easier for you. Actually, that's what I do inside of the Dads on Fire project. One of the things that the guys, the, the dads, they learn there is this concept of what to avoid. And we talk about what to avoid before talking about what to have. Because I truly believe by you understanding, you knowing exactly what you should be avoiding, your life is going to become so much simpler, so much easier for you, that everything else is going to be coming very, very normal, very natural. And then you can know exactly what to eat. But first of all, let's talk about what to avoid. And this is one of the biggest, huge, huge mistakes that I see dads making all the time. Because they are having the wrong foods, okay? They are just selecting the wrong foods. And this is related to, number one, to our culture. Unfortunately, the culture that we have nowadays in the United States, in Europe, in Brazil, anywhere, it's pretty much the same. If you live in the like modern world, if you're not living in a jungle, you're probably having the same types of foods as everybody else. And the culture pushes, pushes you the wrong types of foods, guys. It is important to understand. And we have that mentality, we have that inside of our heads, well, breakfast should be this, should be this type of foods for breakfast. When in fact, there is not such a thing as breakfast foods, okay? Now, what you, be ha you have to be avoiding, um, just like giving a overlooking, like a from high above, just for you to have an idea, it is crappy dairy. So I see this a lot, a lot of people having pasteurized, highly, highly processed type of dairy, okay? The worst types of dairy that you can find in the supermarket. Now, this is not to say that dairy is out of your diet and there is a way to figure out this. It's a different conversation, you know, it's a completely different conversation to talk about dairy, but I just want you to focus on the crappy dairy that might, most people are having, that has to be out. I'm talking about milk, yogurts, any of those things that are highly, highly processed. The crappy one, meaning the conventional ones, the pasteurized, the highly processed, the cheap ones that you find in the supermarkets. That's the first thing that you have to be avoiding. The second thing that I also want you to be eliminating, and this is the biggest one, this is the one that I see all the time, that I see the most, it is refined 
carbs okay refine i just this is crazy like that is what's for breakfast for most people they think that's that's normal they think that's real food it's crazy to think about like bread sandwiches uh cookies croissant donuts all of that stuff juice juice is a big one i see a lot of dads making this huge mistake they think this is healthy oh let me have my orange juice no 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 this is highly refined carbohydrates that's it and another one that i see as well inside of this refined carbohydrates topic is actually crappy oatmeal now oatmeal there is a way to figure it out if this is something that you want to have in your diet even now what i'm talking specifically is the crappy ones that are full of sugar they are not prepared the right way they are not soaked they are just something that you don't want to have in your diet and that i see a lot of people making this huge mistake again there is this big misconception especially in the united states that cereal that oh cereal cereal is another one that just came to my mind that's a huge huge one as well i see a lot of people focus on oh let me have my cereal my granola for breakfast guys quit that just quit that okay no cereals no freaking bullshit oatmeal crap it loaded with sugar doing the wrong way and not processed the right way that's also out especially in the united states a lot of people have oatmeal every single morning and that's going to be killing you slowly now right now you might be thinking what the hell bruno so what do I eat? <laughs> you just eliminate all of my breakfast. You eliminate all my refined carbs, my juice, my oatmeal, my dairy, my yogurt, my all of my the things that I like to have for breakfast. You just completely cut. So what do I do, Bruno? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to give you options, and there is so many options. Like I have a whole guide uh, that I share with my students just about the options that we have for breakfast it is unlimited there is so many ones that you can just make different combinations that you have different breakfasts every single day in fact for my life most of my breakfast is always always different because there is so many options that you can combine different foods that's always going to be tasting differently it's going to be tasting amazing because here's the deal guys you don't have to be eating boring food. In fact, you should be eating delicious, tasty, amazing, amazing foods for your health so that you can be satisfied, so that you can actually enjoy life. This is what the Dead on Fire life is about. It is about enjoyment. It's not about deprivation. It's not about feeling like, oh, I can't eat this i can't eat food i have to be eating less to burn fats no this is bs that's not how you should be doing there is a right way to do it and that's how we do inside of the dead zone fire life we eat more we enjoy more life we eat as much as we can but we are selective we are picky we are we understand that quality it is the most important thing when talking about anything in life not just nutrition but everything physical relationship your career everything is related to quality okay super important now let me give you some ideas quickly about what to have for your breakfast then the first thing that I, that i suggest especially if you are trying to lose some weight if you're, if you're trying to burn fat specifically i would suggest you to actually skip breakfast like i mentioned to you in the beginning of this episode breakfast is not the most important meal of the day you can actually skip you can skip breakfast and just go straight to your lunch. And this way you're going to be actually getting into fasting. Now, fasting is a subject that I talked before already in the podcast. I'm going to be keeping talking more because it is so freaking important for you to understand this topic. That I want to actually recommend you to go to episode number 45. Okay, episode number 45. I interview one of the top experts into the subjects of fasting his name is dr jason funk he lives in canada he is the guy who knows all about that he has an amazing book that i highly recommend i i don't know the name exactly but it's it's related to fasting so just google just go to amazon dr jason funk or most or mo, even better just go to episodes number 45 instead of the dad's on fire uh podcast here and you can listen to the interview that i did with dr jason fung where he goes into much more detail about this so that's the first option that you can have you can actually don't have breakfast you can just skip it you can fast and another option that you can have is the famous bulletproof coffee now 
this is another huge topic of course there is a lot of uh, different variations you can do I do a bunch of different ways to do this I, I, I actually tweak uh, some recipes I do different ways so you can have that as well uh, and then try just try give it a try if you can have coffee that's something that you want to have the next option that I have for you it is one of my favorite ones eggs guys you can have eggs with so many options so many other things you can have eggs with veggies we can have eggs with bacon tomatoes avocado so many variations that your egg will your breakfast when you have an egg will never ever be the same anymore because you have so many different options so that is another one that i love actually that's the one that i just had for my own breakfast i had eggs with bacon tomato and avocado with a little bit of raw cheese on top amazing stuff another option that I really love I call the big S smoothie so I love doing smoothies I have a Vitamix you put a bunch of different foods there and I mean I if you want to I can send you the recipe I have a, I call the burnt fat forever smoothie it is an like 15 ingredients that I put it there I can't remember every single one on the top of my head now but it's incredible nutritious dense there is so many nutrients there okay and that's another option that you can do a big s smoothie with different foods okay and then the last one that i have for you is lunch actually like i mentioned to you we don't have to have specifically foods related to breakfast like you don't have to have oh i just eat this type of foods for breakfast no this is not how we should be we can actually and that's one of the ones that i have all the time most of my my days my breakfast is actually my lunch and it doesn't matter even the time if you want to have the lunch at 10 a.m that's totally fine as well so i actually have a regular lunch sweet potatoes with salad with some um, fish or beef whatever and that is also my breakfast so have your breakfast as your lunch eat the same foods it's all good it's just a matter of getting used to it's a matter of association so that you can actually tweak your brain and see that as another breakfast option now the last thing that i have to mention for you is every time you are eating your breakfast the first meal for the day doesn't really matter if it is in the morning or if it is for your lunch whatever it is the first meal of the day when you break in your fast okay i want you to be focusing on high protein high fat okay high fat good amounts of protein zero carbs very close to zero carbs if you can or very minimal carbohydrates okay and this is something to save to another another episode the reason why there is a lot of reasons but just focus on having rich car rich protein and rich fats for your first meal of the day no matter what the time okay so there we go that's the episode about what are the healthy breakfast now you prepare you can actually implement this in your life right now today on the next breakfast let me know how it goes let me know if you have any questions of course you can always send me an email at bruno at brazilianhealthnet.com and do me a favor make sure to leave a review for the show i would appreciate you very much so that we can grow this show so we can reach more dads uh that would be great just leave a review an honest review inside of itunes subscribe to the channel subscribe to youtube if you're watching this on youtube and make sure you share this with your accountability partner another dad friend of yours who you should be having as accountability partner super important to have one so share this with another dad i would appreciate you very much as well and don't forget to get your free gift right inside of this link inside of the description of this uh this episode or just go to brazilianhealthnuts.com and get your free gift there is a free training there as well there is a bunch of free stuff that i provide to all my crew all of my dads inside of the dads on fire um tribe in here gonna get a lot of free gifts so just go to brazilianhealthnet.com and claim yours until then remember to take action so that you can become what a dad's on fire i'll see you soon have an amazing day guys